What's going on guys? Welcome back to 100% NUFC. I hope I find you really well. So I'm outside St James's Park the day after it finished. Newcastle United 0, Arsenal 1. This is my honest match review from the game yesterday. I do like to reflect on the game instead of just going straight on the camera and saying things that may not necessarily be true. Now I have watched the highlights last night and I'm going to give my honest reflection on the game and what I thought about it. Now of course, yes, we lost 1-0 to Arsenal. It is a disappointing result. And I have seen a lot of fans already being so negative after one game in. Fans getting the knickers in a twist saying, oh, Steve Bruce is this, Steve Bruce is that. Oh, the players are this, the players are that. But at the end of the day, really, you know, we're playing Arsenal. You know, they're in the top six. They're going to be battling for the top four come the end of the season. And they've got a better squad than us on paper. And I said in the preview before the game even kicked off that if we can come up with a draw from this game, it would be great because it's something we can build on. But if we do get beat then it's not the end of the world. We will be playing against clubs in and around us where we can get, you know, three points realistically. Now, we know that Arsenal, you know, have got some very good players and that they will be, you know, up there come the end of the season. And, of course, before the game, there was a boycott. Well, I say a boycott. I will be talking about the boycott in a separate video, so stay tuned to the channel if you want to hear my thoughts. Don't forget to go along and subscribe. It is free. Hit the bell button and you will never miss any videos from myself. So let's go into the game. You know, it was a game of two halves for Newcastle. You know, the first half, I thought we played really well. The second half, I think we dropped our standards and Arsenal grew into the game and we're looking for the result. Now, this is the team that Steve Bruce put in front of us. It's on screen for you to have a look at. And it's as he were against it at the end. So Joe Linton, you know, made his Premier League bow. And you've seen the likes of St. Maximin and General Williams make their appearances in the second half. So in the game itself, it was a game of very few chances. Both teams only had two shots on target all game. And obviously one was scored by Arsenal. So in the first half, I have to say, we had the better of the game. The first chance uh, falling to Joe Linton. When Richie picked up a ball, he crossed it into the box and it just flashed off Joe Linton's head. Beyond the far right-hand post, went wide but on another day Joe Linton may have got a better connection putting that in the bottom right hand corner so Arsenal got away with one in that moment next up was Mickey Almiron he picked up a ball just basically ran into the box and he was yellow carded for a foul of simulation in the box trying to claim a penalty now in my opinion I think the referee got that spot on they didn't need VAR he was looking for a penalty and I think Almiron needs to be very careful because he's trying to play the game at 100 mile an hour I know he's looking for a goal and I know he's trying to work hard for the team, which you can't fault his efforts. But VAR, you know, is now in the game and he needs to be very careful because they can review it. And he's probably going to get more red cards than he sees warnings if he's not careful. And I don't want to see Miguel Moron, you know, miss any games through suspension because he is crucial uh, to our team, even though he hasn't had the best of pre-season and he hasn't had the best start to the Premier League campaign. Then we also had a big, big opportunity through John Joe Shelby. So Matt Ritchie. You know, took a throw in, it found its way to John Joe Shelby and he just took him from outside the box. Leno managed to save it onto the left-hand post and it went wide for a corner but nothing came of it. And that was pretty much it at the first half. Bamyang had a couple of opportunities but didn't really threaten Dubravka in that first half. So it was half-time, nil-nil. I think all Newcastle fans would have taken that because it's potentially, you know, we're seeing a good team out. Second half, I think the standards just dropped. I think the key moment was when John Joe Shelby came off the pitch. I don't know what Steve Bruce was thinking there. He obviously brought on Jetro Williams to try and you know, show up the defence because he knew that Arsenal were going to go for the game, and they surely did. And Williams and Shaw were at fault for the Arsenal goal, which Bamyang actually scored. I mean, so basically what happened was a ball got you know whipped in across the box and Bamyang was unmarked. Uh, Williams, for me, was like a statue. He wasn't picking him up. And Shaw, for me, should have got there a lot quicker as well. And the best player in the Premier League, the deadliest striker in the Premier League, the fact that he was allowed to even, you know, take a touch in the box and smash it past Dubravka was very, very uh, disappointing. And Arsenal went one 0 up. You know, they were looking lively through Willock and Mkhitaryan. I think they, you know, they had uh, a good game. I think Mkhitaryan didn't have his best game, but at times he was making things happen for them. You know, Arsenal for me just pretty much dominated. We did bring on St Maximin. Uh, to try and go for it a little bit, try and get the equaliser, but we didn't in the end. I mean, he had a couple of little opportunities, but didn't really come uh, to test Leno. And Arsenal just seen out the game. You know, they could have won the game by 2-3 or 4, and I wouldn't have complained. 
Now, yes, let's look at the Premier League table after today's game. We're currently sitting 14th in the Premier League. And at the end of the day, I can take a positive you know, from this game. We've only conceded one goal against an Arsenal team who, yes, they did play a lot of youngsters because the likes of Lacazette was injured, Ozil and Klasnach couldn't play due to security reasons. But at the end of the day, I thought Arsenal put up a good fight in that second half. And they know that if they want to challenge for the top four at the end of the season, they have to be coming up here and getting three points as much as that's going to upset us. And at the end of the day, I felt we could take positives from the game because the first half, we were all, but in the game, you know, we could have, you know, taken the lead. But in the Premier League, it's a game of very few chances and you've got to take your chances. And we surely didn't in that game. Second half, of course, Steve Bruce for me, he's got to use better man management uh, in situations where, I mean, Shelby for me being one of our better players in that first half, you've got to keep him on the pitch. But then again, I was hearing that he's had a, an injury. So if that is the case, then fair enough. But the standards for me, you've got to stay throughout the season. You know, we can't just drop off like we did in that second half. After the, the hard work of the first half, the lads have just simply got to keep going like they did under Rafa Benitez uh, last season. I don't think anybody really particularly played well, you know, in that second half. I think Joe Linton, you know, for me, was probably my man of the match. I think he was the one that was trying to make things happen, along with Almiron. But again, the conditions weren't very good, but I'm not going to use that as an excuse uh, to why we lost the game at the end of the day because we've lost a home game. But I'm not going to get too negative about it because at the end of the day, it's only the first game of the season and we've got another 37 games overall to play in the Premier League to try and get three points. And we've still got another 18 home games left to play to try and get three points. And at the end of the day, we're playing Arsenal. So, you know, it's one of them. You know, we've got a chance to get a result against Norwich on Saturday at Carrow Road. You know, they lost, but I'll do the preview for that game. And at the end of the day, Steve Bruce will learn from this. It wasn't obviously his best debut, you know, as a Premier League manager as Newcastle against Arsenal but it is what it is these things happen in football and we've simply just got to move on from it so let me know down below what you thought about the game and let us know what you thought about the point got as well I do have a separate video on that as I will state as said in the start of the video and if you are new to the channel as well don't forget to like share comment and subscribe I am trying to get to 2200 subscribers so the more you have subscribed the better that would really help me out anyway I'll catch us all later how are the lads